Well, hello, my YouTube fellas and gals. I've had some people complaining. We never get to see you. Well, guess what? I'm doing a get ready with me makeup look today. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. So this is me playing with no makeup. So we're going to try some of this CoverGirl FX primer. Couldn't find the primer that I like the best. So we're going to use this, but usually I like elf. Now for your info, when I was younger, we didn't have a primer. We just put on our makeup and did our thing. And I wanted to say too, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. But I have come to realize primer is awesome because I couldn't wear cover a girl or anything like that or Maybelline because it would break out my skin. And they have like blemish control primers and things like that. And it like helps smooth out your makeup looks. So, my favorite. First, we'll do some concealer. And I am using to deal with my puffiness under my eyes. This is Fit Me. I think this is Maybelline. Let me see. Yes. Maybelline Fit Me. So we're going to take this brush because I love these brushes to blend out. And we're going to go and cover. Pat it out, pat it out. Ooh, I haven't been using my fine line cream. And I can tell. So, what are your plans for Thanksgiving? If you're in the United States, let me know below. And of course, my favorite is Lancome. This suits me to a T. I love it. I wish me and Nikki were doing this together. She is such fun to watch. I'm going to use this more of a blend than a pat. It's nothing like these brushes. That's all I can say. They are wonderfully to use to blend. You don't have to wear makeup if you don't want to. I do sometimes. Just to have a different look. Some people like makeup and some people don't like makeup. And that's okay. And once that's blended, now I'm going to grab some powder. This was pretty much my makeup look even in high school. I didn't do 
a lot. I'm going to actually do a couple more steps than what I did in high school. But I am going to use a makeup palette that I have not used yet, which is pretty exciting. So, I have the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. <clears throat> Take the brush out. I'm not going to use their brush, but as you can tell, I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited. So, still has the plastic on it. We're gonna go in with a light shade. Let's see what we're gonna use. Gotta check out the palette. I need my glasses for a second. Um, what are we gonna use for a base? We'll go in with tempera. And then we'll use hmm. tempera and then maybe like cypress and then for the lay down we'll do glistening. Tempera, sight break, and glistening. That looks good. Okay. So we're going to get tempera first, which is a light color up here in the corner. Oops. We're going to do this color and then this color. And then back to the color there beside it. So we're going to lay down a light color first as a base because this is how I like to do my makeup. I'm going to be ambidextrous here. A little bit of fallout, not too bad. Okay. Then the next brush we're going to use is this one. We're gonna do like a darker. Now this is stuff something I never did in high school. This was more like I just would pick a color and lay it down. And this one's dark. It's like a brown color, which kind of gives a nice fall look. I like this because it darkens up your creases a little more. Okay, and then the color I'm going to lay on top. Let me brush this out first. We're going to blend these. Okay, and then to go back in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna find my favorite brush. I got lots of favorite brushes, but I really love this one. It's an elf one and it's so nice. We are going to 
What did I tell you? It was glistening. So this is what we're going to lay on the lid. So you kind of outline and then we're going to lay this glitter look. I do like a good metallic shade. I'm not much of a glitter person. I like the metallic shade when it gives off a pretty shine. So that's the color. If you can see it. And then we're going to go in with Some eyeliner which I do like on my waterline so we're gonna very easily pull down my eye very gently don't pull too hard you don't want to cause yourself wrinkles. You can do this with a sponge too. And I want to lift up a little bit very easily because I don't want to mess up my makeup. You can obviously do this before you put on your eyeshadow. But I've always done it after, so. And I also have a liquid to be able to do the liquid part. Of course, I'm dropping stuff already. Because you know how I like to drop stuff. So, there's that. And then... We are going to pick out a mascara. which I'm going to use a the shock. <clears throat> it's a beautiful mascara too. It's really nice. It's pretty. And then to give my eyebrows some color. And this is the first look I've done with letting my grays come out, which is streaked. I'm going to take an eyebrow pencil and kind of shade my eyebrows in just a little darker. Just to give him a little more color. Love this brush. My eyebrows are kind of like a white. They have like a blonde brown mix.
so that gives a little more accent, I guess you could call it. And then to top off my look, let me do this first. My little eyelash curlers. It's a good look. I'm going to use an Alta lip. These are so nice. And they're moisturizing. It's a it's um the crayon matte. Alta has some good products. Just a little bit of a pinkish kind of tone, like maroon or whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much it. There's my makeup look. Here's my beautiful sweater my mother-in-law bought me. Here's my necklace my daughter got me with some extra stuff on it. And voila, my hair. Give it a little bit of a floppy bun look and I'm good might have to take that bump out though but I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving and whatever time zone you're in I hope you're having a great one and I will see you soon Mwah. thanks for